What's going on guys? Today we're here with Darren from Paul Check Performance. We're gonna be doing a toe test to help you guys decide uh, what's best for you between a 1500 and a 2500 gas versus diesel. Uh, we've got his truck, which is a 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins. It's rated to pull uh, 17,200 pounds. And then we have my truck, which is the 2019 Ram 1500. It's with the Hemi, it's rated to pull 11,500. Our test for today is gonna to be this 18 foot aluminum trailer with a built WJ Jeep on it, uh, combined weight between the two of exactly 7,000 pounds. So it's gonna be in a nice sweet spot. Uh, it's not really gonna be working the diesel too hard, but it is gonna be getting up there for the 1500 and that's kind of what we wanted just to show because I have my opinions I think that if you're going to be towing anywhere near 10,000 pounds on a regular basis um, you should probably just go for the diesel but we'll see how it does we're going to use the decibel meter here we both have aftermarket exhaust so it'd be nice to have stock comparison uh, and ideally it'd be nice to have a 2500 with a Hemi to compare but this is as close as we can get it'll give you a good enough idea but we're going to measure exhaust noise we're going to get the Trucks hooked up and do the test now. All right, the 1500 is hooked up. It sits about perfectly level. It might be squatting about a half inch. I do have an inch and a half leveling kit. So we're gonna put a little bit of air in my airbags in the back, just so we're not uh, bouncing on the internal jounce blocks of the airbags. That makes for an uncomfy ride. So we're gonna air that up quick. There we go, that's a little better. It's sitting perfectly level now. Got 20 pounds in each airbag in the back. Let's do it. <sighs> tow haul. Right before we do the tow test here, we're gonna top off fuel on both trucks. That way when we get done, we're gonna do the exact same route with both trucks. And we're gonna do the same techniques with both trucks. That way when we come back, we're gonna top off on fuel and get a real world MPG rating. Um, instead of just going off the dash because those can be off by a little bit. So we're topping off here. The Ram calls for 89 octane, the, the Hemi does anyway. It can run on 87, but they recommend 89. So that's what we're fueling up with just for apples to apples comparison. The diesel is just gonna be regular green diesel. Windows up, normal acceleration. Probably like 80 here once you round this corner and get a chance. Ah, oh, car going around. 
my blinker on. Ah, there's more coming. Oh, you almost hit 100 decibels there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I got my blinker on, don't anyone get over. But I gotta make sure that I have enough to get up to 80. Mm -hmm. Obviously in tow haul it hangs in the higher RPMs to make sure you're in the power band. Um, the route we picked is fairly hilly at 60 to 70 mile an hour speeds, 55 to 70. So there was quite a bit of shifting, especially with the eight speed. Um, obviously it's good at keeping the engine in the power band, but if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of shifting, uh, this is gonna be a negative for you. The, the diesel's gonna just kinda lug down and spool up the turbo more and just kind of pull rather than downshifting and upshifting so much. This was a little shift happy, but that's just what it has to do to you know meet the commands and the demands of what you want it to do with this weight, this engine, and the speeds that we're going. Um, I would be able to pull this all day long, no problem. Again, if I was getting up to the 10,000 pound range, uh, I would probably consider a diesel, even though this is rated to pull more than that. Also big thing to note is that we have a open trailer. Um, I did pull a 30 foot camper with this truck and the, the camper was by far lighter than this combo but because it caught more wind uh, I think that was actually more difficult to tow. So you have to not only keep in mind weight but also wind resistance uh, of what you're pulling. So this combo is pretty good. If you were pulling a camper with this truck I would say you probably wouldn't want to go over 8,000 pounds because once you factor in wind resistance, you're talking more like 10,000 plus, I would say. Do you have any thoughts? Mm -hmm. Covered it all. Covered it all, boss. All right, well, we'll catch you at the pump, show you what it actually averaged, and then we'll switch over to the Cummins and do the same run with that one. See how awesome would it be if this was just our job? <laughs> TFL 2.0. TSL, the slow lane truck. <laughs> Jeep's right on her ass. <laughs> Can't shake them. Can't shake them. Now roll them over. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go ahead and hook up the Cummins.
So the total trip we did was 63.6 miles and the Cummins ended up using a total of 4.519 oh, for a total of 14.07. And what did the dash say? 15 flat. 15? Close off by one mile per gallon, 1407. Which isn't bad, really. No, it's pretty good. Now the Hemi, same miles, 63.6, and that got 6.456, and that is 9.85 to the gallon. And your cluster said 10.4. 10.4. 10.4. 10.4, and <laughs> that was 9.4? 9.8. Four? Nine eight. Nine eight. So mine was only 0.6 off but pretty good. So the diesel got better mileage. But we kind of figured that. It costs more. Yeah. So you really got to weigh it out depending on how much fuel is in your area and how much you're going to be towing. They both did the same. The Cummins did less shifting. Um, again, I would say... The only shift that the Cummins did was on the hill intentionally other than... From, other than from a stop. From slowing down from slow people. <laughs> Right. I think it was, I got to look at the uh, decibel readings in person, but I don't know which one was louder in the cab, technically. So anyways, once you get to about the uh, 3,000 pound and higher mark is when the diesel is going to start outperforming the gas in miles per gallon, I would say. And then once you're getting higher... Um, once you're into the 10,000 pound range, like I said, even though this truck's rated for 11.3, I wouldn't want to tow 10,000 pounds every day with it. I think that's just working it harder than it should be. Um, yes, it can take it, but it's going to be harder on the truck. If you're going to be pulling 10,000 pounds plus, you're probably better off just to go with the diesel. Um, obviously, maintenance is more expensive on the diesel. Fuel is typically more, but uh, you got to kind of, you got to kind of, you kind of got to pay pay big to play big uh in towing world hopefully this video helped you out guys if it did make sure you hit that like button comment down below with any questions check me out on all the socials and as always thanks for watching have a great day knew that was gonna happen. but as soon as we like get to a, a talky talky part you're like coming on out